one of the great new features in Student Manager 8 is the search tool. Let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to go ahead and use the look up name button on the quick launch screen. When I click that, it brings up the new search tool. Your first thing you'll notice is the various columns of fields. You'll notice that last name and first name and firm, and if we scroll over and take a look, uh, zip, day phone, home phone, cell phone, email, and social security ID number are in purple. They're highlighted. When we type in search text, for example, if we're looking up Chuck Havelcheck, um, it's going to start searching for whatever we type in the search box in those various fields. So if we start typing HA, notice that it's finding all the different fields in all those different columns that have HA, and it bold prints those. So as we start typing in Havelcheck, the last name, we know it's a last name, but it's finding every file, every record that has HA in it. Now one of the cool features in this new search tool is we can put a space and start typing the first name, let's say. Maybe we know it's Chuck. We can start typing CH. So what that tells it is HA, there has to be a word with HA in it, and a word with CH. So we've narrowed down the search even farther. Now if I was to go back and continue typing the name, eventually it will scale it down to just a few records. This is a great tool when you're trying to find somebody and can't remember their whole name or how to spell the name. This is also handy if you can't remember the name at all but you can remember where they work. For example, let's say you remember they work at A-Square Systems. I can start typing in ACE and notice it brought up all the firms with ACE in it. It didn't bring up any last names or first names with ACE. Nobody has that as their name in our sample record. We have all these firms, people that work for ACEWARE Systems. Now, another great new feature is the ability to sort by, by column name or by field name. So if I want to see all the ACEWARE Systems all in a row, I can go use the firm sort. And this sorts the column by that column alphabetically. So now all my ACEWARE systems are in order. It put all the names in order by firm. Now I can go and override that and click next to last name and now they're in name order last name. And if I click it twice it switches the order from A to Z to Z to A. So any of the columns that have the little symbol for sort, the little uh, double triangle button, you can click on and sort by that column. So let's review. I'm going to go ahead and, and double click choose a record, close this out. So I can look up a name. Uh, all the fields in purple at the top, those are the fields that are being searched in. As I type in the name I'm looking for, it's going to find that text in the various fields. I can use a space to put in another variable. So if I know part of the last name and part of the first name, I can use a space to break that up. In fact, I can put another space and even do three variables. And finally, I could sort my, my search by using the sort button next to any column heading and sort by that column. And to choose the file, finally, I can double click in that data field and bring up that file. That's all there is to it. Good luck.